We're gonna do. But listen up. One thing I'm gonna encourage. We try not to break the the circle. We either stay on the outside or the inside until those four songs are over. So we're not. We, we don't want people running back and forth to the arbor. So we're gonna encourage people. If you're gonna be under the arbor, try to stay under the arbor for these four songs. If you're gonna stay on the outside, try to stay on the outside. I seen this done a long time ago when I was young, and this young man ran across, and they made them start all over again. But we're not gonna do that to you, because I know we got kids here. So if you, uh, even if you want to hold on to your tobacco and give it to them during the second song or the third song, but let's just try not to cross too much. And we have our four drums that are going to be singing. I have them here somewhere. So we're going to ask me when ends to do the first song. The second song will go to Young Maple. Third song, Asema Waju. And fourth song, we're going to ask Stonehill for our, our Jingle Sidestep song. So. Here's your chance to hand out your tobacco. You got a special prayer. And like I said, you don't need to tell that dancer why you're giving them tobacco. Because the creator will know. Tobacco is very important in our culture and in our ceremonies. Nothing starts without tobacco. Before I even emceed, I got tobacco. When we go see our elders, tobacco is always first. That tobacco is the one that opens up that doorway to the spirit world so that we can talk. We can even go way back to our creation story, Anishinaabe. Bay. What that means is when we even people that were lowered here from the stars. And that's what one of the meanings of Anishinaabe is once we were lowered here. We're star people as Anishinaabe people. We were lowered here from the stars. And they said the very first man that was lowered here, as he touched the earth, he stepped on this plant and he felt really bad. And that was that tobacco plant. And he told Creator, I feel bad for stepping and wrecking one of your plants. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to always honor this plant and use it in a good way. Whenever we need help, whenever we ask somebody for something, we always use that tobacco. So I believe, I don't know if we're all ready. So like I said, let's try not to cut, run across and just let our our woman jingle dress dancers do what they need to do. That tobacco is very important. All right, with that I believe we're ready to go. Miguinez, let's give them their first sidestep song. And if we could please rise in honor of our beautiful Jingle Dress Dancers and honor all these beautiful women that you see here.
right, that's song number one. We're gonna give them a little breather. I don't know if uh, anybody has water you wanna give them. Have a little drink, little breather. And we're gonna go to song number two, Young Maple. Big which big one is for that song. That's my favorite song of all time. Hey. Some people handing out water, some people handing out Red Bull. Hey. They'll be floating floating sideways. Hey. You need a water? for song number two. Song number two, Young Maple. Woman, let's encourage them. We have got two more songs to go. Their hard work, what they're doing here. Beautiful sight here. Oh man, you're giving me bumps. Hey. Giving me the bumps, those beautiful sound of those dresses. So yeah, we'll give them a little breather, have some water.
a drink, catch your breath. Anybody need asthma puffer? I got one. Selling two dollars a squirt. Hey. Nathan's going by. Give him a thumbs up if you're ready. Yeah, give him a little thumbs up. And we're going to a Simawad Jew for the third song. Alright, the high sign has been given. Just a reminder, let's try not to cut through while they're dancing. All right, song number three. Jimmy Gwich, I say Mama Jill for that beautiful song. One more song, Bejigob Giaba. So we'll take your break, get some water. We're gonna do one more song just to make it sacred for. Yeah. There's still a chance to give break. Come bring to one of those dancers tobacco if you want. You have a special prayer, even if it's for yourself. I know we're all human, we all struggle. Sometimes we have things in our life that we think nobody will understand. You're not alone. That's why we're here. Reach out for help. It takes real strength to reach out for help. And these dancers are here for you to dance. Dance for your help. All right, Nathan's going around giving the thumbs up. We're gonna go to our fourth song with Stone Hill, our visitors from Saskatchewan. 
Give Nathan a thumbs up, you're good to go. I say chimigwitch to all our beautiful jingle dress dancers for doing this for us. Um, come line up up here in the front. Um, Auntie Gloria has a little token of appreciation for every single one of you. For ages 13 and up, for the ages 13 and up, Auntie Gubby has a token of appreciation on behalf of all of you here from the community. And if you didn't register, make sure Gubby has your name. If you signed up yesterday, you're good. But if you didn't today, then make sure we get your name. So I'm gonna hand the mic over to our head dancer here to share a few words. <laughs> Makwan and Don Dam, Kinokamin and Don G, Thunderbane and Don Jaba, Dejik, I mean, Nishu, but they need. I just wanted to share a little bit about your tears. 
There's a teaching that I received and actually a vision that I had. Some years ago, when my father-in-law passed away, Ambram says, Mishaki, he came to me in a dream and he was at a dock and there was a canoe at that dock and uh, there was mist down the river. It was all misty. And uh, he says to me, help me pack my canoe. So, uh, so I proceeded to help him with his packages and I packed his canoe with him. And then he got in the canoe and he started heading out down the river. And when he went down the river into that mist, I could hear drums. I could hear laughter. I could hear singing. And uh, so that's where I know we go. I know how it sounds. I know how it looks from the doorway. And that's where we go. Now there's another teaching that goes with that. That river where his canoe was on. That river is made from our tears. All of our tears, when they drop, they go to that river. And that river of tears, it's what's bring our loved ones home. We, we, uh, we help them get home with our tears. So when you cry, don't be ashamed. Don't hide your tears because you're helping your loved ones on their journey. So when I was dancing, I seen those tears and it made me smile because I know where our tears are going into that river and they're going to help our loved ones get home to always have that river home because like they said they come to visit us they come and see us in our dreams sometimes we see them in other people sometimes we hear them sometimes we smell them and uh, when they come to visit our tears have to keep that river flowing so that can, they can go back home. So don't ever stop crying for our loved ones because they need us to bring them back home every time our tears fall. And that's the teaching I wanted to leave with you. And uh, for those ladies, if you still have that tobacco in your hand, go put it in the sacred fire or that drum, if you receive that uh, tobacco from the ladies, can you go empty your tobacco bag today before you leave, okay? And the reason for that is the sacred fire has heard our message, has heard the messages that were given here, and they know why we danced. So I'd like to see that tobacco hit the, our uh, grandfather fire today before the day ends, okay? All right, Jimmy Gwich, for allowing me to speak. Jimmy Gwich, Gakana Gichita Kwewak. All right, me Gwich. done getting their little uh, token of appreciation. This is the committee's way of honoring all of you. And they're all going to shake hands or elbow bump, whatever they're comfortable with.
Alright, I believe we're going to have a few other tribals and I believe we're having another feast this evening. And then, uh, but we're not going to break, we're not going to, we're going to keep powwowing while the feast goes on. Lots of healing taking place here. Very beautiful. You know, and like I said earlier, healing can be ugly. Oh man, there's lots of tears in healing, but we have to allow it. And especially us men. And I can speak on that. Men, we need to cry. It's okay to cry. All my life I never cried. I grew up in foster care. I learned at a young age you don't cry because you cause trouble or you get moved or you just cause nobody wants to see kids cry. And it took me the last few months I could finally cry. And I know there's no shame in crying. A lot of us men, we get told to shut up and be strong. But to me, I think crying is actually being strong. And I can personally say, as to all the other men, it's okay to cry. There's no shame. 